in fact, it's really easy to find out if you have a faulty CMOS battery because there are error codes displayed if you when you're turning on the um, laptop. And luckily, I have the original Benutzer Handbuch or Owner's Manual of the ThinkPad. So um, I have the error codes of the BIOS. And if you have a faulty uh, CMOS battery, you will get the error code 161. That's a faulty uh, real-time clock. Um, and you will also get certainly the error 133. This is um, a faulty um, date and faulty uh, time. So you will get these two error codes. I'm sorry that my Benutzer Handbuch or Owner's Manual is only German, so I'm not able to show you um, the English version, but I'm sure the error codes itself are universal and you will um, certainly get the same numbers if you have a faulty um, CMOS battery. Since I've already repaired my ThinkPad and I cut newer video mat material and older video material in this video together, I can only show you the faulty CMOS battery of another ThinkPad I have. I have here the also pretty famous 755C ThinkPad. This is the original NASA ThinkPad which was also used in the Space Shuttle program. And I I haven't repaired the CMOS battery of this laptop. So when I turn it on, you will see um, how a faulty ThinkPad will react with a empty or um, defect uh, CMOS battery. So let me switch the, the laptop on. So you will get instantly these two error codes and then you will be led to the uh, system BIOS. And this are the two codes, it's 161 and um, 163. If you have this error code, it's, certainly, it's certain that the CMOS battery is faulty in your ThinkPad. So now I will cut in the older video material, how I repaired and uh, resoldered the CMOS battery of my um, butterfly ThinkPad. So I told you guys that I bought a ThinkPad 71C and yeah, I took it apart and the first thing you should do is check if the battery is still okay. And I will try to solder it exactly at the place where the old battery was. You also can use a kind of this CMOS battery and yeah, and solder the cable on it and put the battery in another place. But I figured that it's more neat to take exactly the same battery and this uh, operation was just in time. There's already some oxidation uh, from the battery, which uh, probably was already leaking and started to deteriorate the PCB. So now I will clean the PCB and resolder the a new battery on the PCB. And for your information, this is the bottom um, P uh, PCB, which is kind of... Uh, nasty to um, get to because you have to uh, dismantle the whole uh, sink pad. I will show you some pictures. So now I have cleaned the circuit board and uh, it looks, looks pretty good. So there's no damage. Um, so 
hopefully everything will go okay. So now I resoldered or soldered the battery back to the bottom layer system board with a Pentium chip on it. And yeah, it's uh, pretty easy. And yeah, hopefully I uh, I got a battery which uh, will last uh, some time and don't leak. Uh, so yeah, probably I will check it after a few years. I will um, check the battery again and see if the battery is leaking and probably uh, resolder it because um, I don't think that the risk is uh, greater or lower if you use this kind of CMOS battery with a cable because, yeah, as you can see, it's, it's just a little shrink foil around it and inside you can you can see the uh, battery uh, looks uh, looking out. So that's also not uh, proof. Uh, so if the uh, battery is leaking, uh, the acid or anything what, which is in it will come out and will probably drop on the board and uh, destroy the board. So you have to decide if it um, takes the battery out completely and you will have an error putting the uh, ThinkPad on or uh, resolder batteries. There are only two choices, so I resoldered it. Now I've put the bottom system board back in place, back into the housing. You have to take care of this uh, spacers. So you have to put back in place. And here's a battery, as uh, a speaker cable has to be right here. So it's that it not folded under the PCB. So there's another uh, battery. This, this battery is on the top level board. It should be a buffer battery if you are changing the main battery so that the system um, information and the RAM uh, information is still safe during that time. I would be able to replace the battery and I already bought one, a similar one, but I'm I, I'm hesitating. You probably don't need the battery, so I let the battery out. If I have errors or something, I will probably replace the battery. Now that I have resoldered the battery and checked if everything went right, I can give you a quick advice. Be careful to resolder the, the battery the right way. I did it the wrong way the first time. And uh, so I will give you a little uh, helping hand and show you the right polarity. It must be like on this picture, the plus and the minus. Um, if you do it the wrong way, like I did the first time, you will receive a lot of additional error codes. For example, an error code that will lead you to a wrong uh, memory and error in the RAM. So uh, that will in the end lead to nothing. And uh, I already thought I destroyed the whole motherboard, but I didn't. You just have to resolder the battery uh, the right way and then all the error codes are gone. So be careful. And in the end, I will tell you a small fun fact. IBM had uh, from in former days a German branch which was called Deutsche Hollerit Gesellschaft. The Deutsche Hollerit Gesellschaft was called after a German American who invented the punch cards, which were used in old computers. He was called Hollerit. So that's a little fun fact in the end. <laughs> so goodbye and see you in the next video.